this week's five minute Friday, I wanted to show this, the cross reference for electrical connectors from Caterpillar. So if you scroll down here, this is a PDF um, copy, scroll down, it shows here's some two pin um, Deutsch style connectors, four pin DTP uh, replacement terminals. So then it gives you the part numbers, nickel plated, gold plated. Here's the part numbers, it even gives you illustrations. So illustration five, illustration six. So you come down, here's number five, here's the part number, here's six, here's part number. So if you just scroll down, gives you all the different connectors. So here's this style. This is like a right angle style. Here's the part number. Here's one. It's got a slightly different back. So it helps to like if you have a John Deere um, Deutsch connector or something, you can cross reference it to a cat. If you can't find it through John Deere, you can get it through cat or some sometimes they can cross reference a cat number to a deer number. So here's the three pin Deutsch connectors. So let me scroll down here. I want to show you something else. There's also flange. So if you have like a flange connector, you can't find the part number, here it is. Sometimes connectors are really hard to find. So then it's got four pin. Here's another four pin flange, 12 pins. It's got every connector that's used on a cat machine. It even has the, the back connectors. So like for the three pin connector here, here's the 90 degree style connector. It's got these in it. Here's these ones. And then the caps, here's a two pin cap, here's a three pin cap, here's a four pin cap. So if you need a cap, 12 pin cap. So then here's the the big style metal cannon plugs, whatever these are called, I've never, MS receptacle caps, I've never even heard of those before. The 70 pin connectors with the flanges, you can look here and then it's got, here's the big, um, what is this, 120 pin? Um, what is this one? It's got the big ECM connectors in here trying to find so here's the amp seal connector so I was trying to find so then it's got the different it's got the different keys and then say you need here's a three pin it's got all the different illustrations the different keys key one key two so on and then if you keep going I'm trying to get to a special page here so then here it is so say you need a we're looking for a three pin receptacle with a um, yellow so right here three pin connector receptacle key for green right here. So then here's the part number for it. You need a yellow one. Here's the yellow, gray, red, and then like a six pin receptacle gray, eight pin connector, key one red. So it gives you all that stuff. So how do you find this? Let me show you how to find it. So let's go back to the top here. And then you get this REHS number. Um, I leave off the dash part because it's like the reiteration, the dash, this is the document number. So and then you don't even need to put a prefix or anything in here. Just paste it in there, search it, and here it is right here. Here's the first one, special instruction. Let me re move this, there we go. Move this over, there we go. So then here it is, and then if you wanna download it, let me show you how to do this. So you click right here where it says print, and then I'm on a Mac, this is Chrome. But it brings this, it brings it up, and then brings it here. So then what you can do is here's your printer, but if you don't want to print it, you can push save as PDF. But then if it if this is blank over here on yours, and this only works on Chrome, let me show you how to do it. So then go to more settings, and right here where it says background graphics, make sure that is checked. So if I uncheck it, it'll load it, but it's blank. So if you have this problem where it's just blank, you have to click right here where it says background graphics. And then you can save it to a um, to the desktop or a, or a flash drive or whatever or you can print it out and that works the same way if you want to print it make sure you have this background graphics clicked so I just want to show you that that's how you get this and then you can save it if you don't have access to a um, sysweb you can ask your cat dealer if you have a cat dealer that you do a lot of business with you can ask them they might be able to give it to you 